Hello and welcome. Solidification cracking is one of the most important problems in the high power keyhole mode laser welding of nickel alloys. Both the alloy composition and the welding variables affect cracking. In our recent paper in Journal of Materials Processing Technology that one can freely download from the link given in the description of this video until June 2nd, 2022. We show how cracking is affected by welding variables and determine the locations where the cracks occur based on experiments and theory. Solidification cracking can occur at the keyhole finger during high power keyhole mode laser welding of nickel alloys. Many factors are responsible for cracking. We have listed the most important ones here. For example, a large solidification temperature range will result in a large liquid solid two-phase region, which is weak and susceptible to solidification cracking. Solidification parameters such as temperature gradient and cooling rate can significantly affect the morphology of the solidified alloy and affect cracking. The amount of liquid during the last stage of solidification determines whether a cracking can be healed by feeding liquid from the solidifying fusion zone. All of these factors depend on the alloy composition and welding parameters. Here we used a cracking susceptibility model which is based on the ratio of the vulnerable to relaxation times to determine how the welding variables affect cracking and determine the locations where the cracks occur during high power keyhole mode laser welding of a nickel alloy 740H. We explain this model and its implementation in the next slide. The crack susceptibility model used in this work is based on the one by Klein and Davies. Here a crack susceptibility coefficient, which is the ratio of the vulnerable time to relaxation time, is related to cracking. A higher value of this coefficient indicates greater time of exposure of the two-phase mixture to vulnerable conditions, indicating a greater likelihood of cracking. So what are these vulnerable and relaxation times? You see during solidification, the formation of increasing fractions of solid with decreasing temperature occurs as the two-phase mixture cools. Now the time required for the solidification of the two-phase solid-liquid mixture from solid fractions of 0.9 to 0.99 is the vulnerable time. During this time, the liquid available in the two-phase mixture is insufficient to compensate for the shrinkage as the two-phase mixture cools. The relaxation time on the other hand corresponds to the time during changes in solid fractions from 0.4 to 0.9. During this period, the solidification shrinkage can be easily backfilled by the presence of large volume of liquid. The procedure for this calculation on the top left figure shows the specific locations on the two-phase Mercy region corresponding to solid fractions of 0 0.4, 0 0.9, and 0.99 are required. They are calculated from the 3D temperature fields, which depends on the welding variables such as laser power and speed. Moreover, they can be calculated at several depths of a weld. The bottom left figure shows the location of solid fractions on the weld top surface. The ratio of the length of the red colored region to that of the green colored region will be the ratio of vulnerable to relaxation time. Now to calculate the vulnerable and relaxation times, we need the 3D temperature fields. For this, we use a well-tested heat transfer and fluid flow model of the laser keyhole welding. The model numerically solves the Navier-Stokes and energy equations and requires the alloy thermophysical properties and laser welding variables as input. The model outputs include 3D temperature, velocity distribution, temperature gradient, cooling rate, solidification morphology, and solid fractions. Here in this figure, a molten pool with keyhole is shown after heat transfer and fluid flow calculation. The red region corresponds to the keyhole, which is at a temperature of the boiling point of the alloy. The various temperature of 1652 Kelvin, 1551 Kelvin, and 1425 Kelvin corresponds to the solid fractions of 0 0.4, 0 0.9, and 
and 0.99 respectively. Using these temperature fields, we calculate the ratio of vulnerable and relaxation time at different elevations of the weld. Using the methodology adopted in this work, we are able to understand when and where cracks form during high power keyhole mode laser welding of Inconel 740H. The calculation of the vulnerable to relaxation time ratio for various laser power and welding speeds for keyhole mode welding of Inconel 748 shows that cracks form when this ratio exceeds a threshold value of 1.2. Also, these cracks occur at depths which correspond to this ratio of 1.2. Interestingly, following the trend of this ratio, cracks appear at greater depths with increasing laser power at constant welding speed. Using this analysis for various welding parameters, one can identify process range to avoid formation of cracks before welds are made. 